talking with a slur economic ninja here. I hope you're doing great. I want to do a little video because I'm about to actually get on a plane flying up to Reno to see my corporate attorney and trademark attorney. And I'm going to be doing some videos both for this channel and for the side hustle course. But I actually ran into somebody today that actually took the side hustle course and he was giving me his feedback. And he was really excited about it. But one thing that he said that he liked about the course was that I talk about what I learned from starting side hustles in sort of a story format. And it sort of got me thinking about something that I can teach you right now, whether if you have a side hustle or not, you wanna earn money and sort of take your finances to the next level. Uh, one lesson that I learned very early on, and then I became almost what you would think is fearless, even though we all have fear, we all deal with insecurities. Um, but something happened when I started selling tractors. And I wanna tell you that story because I think it could help a lot of people. When I started side hustles, I was in sixth grade. I started from selling candy to kids at school to starting a baseball card shop to auto detailing and the, the list goes on and on. But at a certain point around 2002, 2009, 2010, after I'd sold my real estate, we hunkered down, we had a couple of properties um, and, and that was it. Uh, I needed a way to be able to expel energy and to be able to make money. So you've probably heard the story about my palm tree business. I had a thousand palm trees packed into a literally a track house where semi trucks would be pulling up and delivering trees. And then people would be calling in and literally every other day from Craigslist, I'd have a line of cars and we'd be sending plants in one door and out the other. Well, at a certain point, I thought it would be a really good idea to buy a tractor. And the reason why was because these palm trees were getting big, they're getting heavy and the ninja wasn't getting any younger. And so I thought about it and I started looking around for tractors and a buddy of mine uh, sold me a tractor and it was, so it was fate really, but something he said totally changed my life. And what it was, was uh, as I was buying his tractor because he was moving away and he goes, Hey, I know you've got the palm trees and this could, you know, be awesome for lifting the palm trees into trucks, you know, that you're delivering. And he said, you know, if you, if you don't like it, you could always sell it. I'm going to sell, give it to you for such a great price. I'll, I'll give it to you and, you know, for, you know, if you want, you could sell it. And it just like this light bulb went off and I go, well, yeah, it's a no brainer. I'll buy the tractor. If it doesn't work out or, you know, I need the money, I'll sell it. Well, that started me thinking like, well, why don't I start buying and selling tractors? I started looking around at tractors and I knew that the one he'd sold me was a great deal. And I found one for sale. And it was funny because my father went with me to go and buy this tractor. And it was, it was awesome because I didn't know anything about tractors. And that's what he said. He goes, what are you doing buying and selling tractors? You don't know the first thing. I'd driven one a few times, you know, uh, doing some construction projects. Um, but I said, you know, I've looked at so many of these tractors. I know the one that I'm buying is super undervalued as compared to all the ones that are selling or the asking price of the other ones. Yeah, he said, but yeah, but you don't know the first thing. What are you going to do? Like, I said, well, I'm going to get in it, start it, drive it around, sort of fake it till you make it. And it was that day that I decided that I was not going to let what I don't know hold me back. And that's what a lot of people don't realize. You know, a lot of things that hold you back, projects or side hustles or businesses, you're held back because you don't know what you don't know. But you don't know what you don't know until you know it. Really, if you, don't, if you think of it that way, you know, there are a lot of things in life that you can get away with just doing it. Just do it, do it, do it. Yeah, sure, there's failure. Sure, there's things that you're going to screw up. But the facts are, you know, nine times out of 10, if you're trying hard, you're going to hit the mark. It may not be the mark that you want, but the point being is that mark gets hit and then this one gets hit and then this one gets hit. And before you know it, you are getting more and more done. You're getting more accomplished. You're making more money. And, you know, I took that lesson from the tractor business and made well over six figures. Matter of fact, I want to say if I had to guess right now without looking at my my books, I made probably $200,000, $250,000. I remember my greatest tractor sale ever was a guy that I tried to buy one attachment from. He had a tractor with, I want to say it was like eight or nine attachments. And I just wanted this one attachment because I didn't have a lot of money, but I knew I could flip that attachment. He goes, no, it's all or nothing. And he was asking, I want to say he was asking like $18,000 for the entire thing. And that was a big nut to crack for me. And I said, look, I'll give you $3,000 for just this one attachment. I'm always, and I told him, as a matter of fact, if you split all this up, you'll make way more money. So he said, no, I just want to sell it and I want to sell it all. 
And I caught myself as I was telling him that. And I go, what am I thinking? I'm just going to take it right now. And I'm going to go figure out how to get the money. Figured out how to get the money. I borrowed the money at a great interest rate. I actually offered somebody 10% as soon as I sold all the product. I'd pay him. And I told him it'd probably take less than 60 days. So I paid him 10% on the 18,000 bucks, so 1,800 bucks. It was great. I took that <laughs> tractor and all the attachments, sold it for almost $50,000. The point being is that I didn't let me not knowing anything about tractors hold me back. Now, I know this might sound like bad advice, but you have to realize a lot of people don't start because of fear. And that's something you don't want to do. Well, I took that lesson and I moved into tra trailers. Me and my best friend, Charlie, uh, he's probably watching right now. He, um, you know, one day we were trying to figure out a way to make $500 a month, just literally 500 bucks a month. And we said, you know, what, what are we doing? Like, wh what can we buy and sell? So like, well, we know things about tractors. I've been flipping those. And I know about palm trees. We bought tractor attachments. We bought palm trees. And then one day we saw a park model trailer for sale and it was 500 bucks. And my buddy Charlie goes, hey, have you ever thought about flipping these? I'm like, I don't know the first thing. We'd never even owned an RV our own, ourselves or a camp or camping trailer. And he goes, it, Charlie, I'll never forget. He goes, well, I mean, for 500 bucks, what can you lose? Well, here we were trying to make 500 bucks a month. So we each ponied up, uh, what was it, uh, 250 bucks. And we went and bought that trailer. And we sold it for $5,000 literally within 30 days. To say that everything had changed was an understatement. But the point being is that if I allowed myself to be led by fear, because I don't know anything about trailers, I don't know anything about the water heaters, the septic tanks, trust me, we learned all kinds of lessons. And the kind of lessons that literally leave you walking away smelling like crap. Point being is that if I would have been led by fear, I would never have tried. And yes, it's easier when you have a business partner, but I didn't have a partner when I was doing the tractors, but I had to try. And one thing that I did was I just went and shopped around for a long time. And I had a really good idea that, you know what? This tractor is literally, he's asking half the price compared to all the similar tractors on Craigslist. I go, you know what? At this point, even if there's something wrong with it down the road, I can probably get it fixed and still make my money. But I had to make that jump. And that's what I want you guys to understand is sometimes you just have to make that leap, that jump. And one thing that you can do to always safeguard yourself is have emergency funds on the side in case there's a problem, but also don't use debt to start a side hustle. If you use cash and you start small, that's why in the side hustle course, I literally have classes de devoted to literally starting with a garage sale, sell the crap out of your garage to raise the money, right? But start small and then build with a cash base, with an emergency fund base. And guys, you honestly can't go wrong. It is literally that easy. But I wanted to do this video. I'm, I'm getting ready to get on a plane right now to, like I said, I'm going to work going to film for the side hustle course. And there's going to be a couple uh, videos that come out on the main channel too. But I just want to encourage you. If you've been sitting on the sidelines and you're like, I want to start a business. I want to start a side hustle. I want to diversify my income. Then guys, sometimes you just have to jump. But when you jump, just take a little leap, just a tiny one. Don't get into debt. Use cash. Save up. But make that leap. Because even if you fail, you've now learned. And sometimes, actually, I'd say most of the time, failures at the beginning level are the cheapest lessons you're ever going to get. And it's better than ever paying an attorney for advice or literally uh, trying to take some guru out to lunch and learn from them. Sometimes you have to fail to get the best and biggest lesson of all. All right, guys, that being said, I thank you so much. Uh, if you guys want to take a look at the side hustle course, I do have a 50% off discount. It's half off, all in caps, super simple. Uh, but I'll put that in the description. Or no, I'll put it in the comment section. Guys, I hope you have a great day. The Economic Ninja is out. How do I turn this thing off? Mm -hmm.